Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Cosmo League Galaxy Division. We have got not divorced or almost divorced as they're normally known versus Syria. Um, now, no guessing where Syria is from. Um, it's pretty obvious. Almost divorced. I believe they're American. Um, maybe some, all of the people in the chat can let me know whereabouts your farm. Um, but yeah, we just got a few minutes to go. It should be a good matchup. A little bit of hype around this one. Always nice to see lots of people involved. Canadian. Sorry for calling you American. That's kind of rude of me. Um, <laughs> I know how insulting that is. So yeah, lovely to see Canadian clan versus a Syrian clan. I don't think we have many players from Syria, so it should be an interesting one to watch. I don't know if this team is particularly good, particularly bad, but you know, they are still in this division. They're fighting in the group stages. Uh, there's three weeks of group stages in total. Teams of four, they all, well, groups of four even, they all fight it out if they, um, if they make it through. Then they get to the double elimination and they get to fight it out for the $1,000 prize pool. And if they get that, they can buy themselves a little present, you know? So they've got a little bit to go. Top two from each group will qualify, and then they've got to fight it all the way out. Max is in the chat as well. Lots of Canadians in the chat. Max, are, um, Max is one of our staff members, and he is a Canadian, so you know. Right. Here we go. First hit, we have got Esper from Almost Divorced slash Not Divorced attacking. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I can't. Um, but it's definitely a name of some sorts. What have we got now? We've got Knee Titan Smash in with the Earthquakes, in with the Zaps. Nice start. Got a bit of a Warden Walk going on. Taking a lot of damage already. Might need to rage on that pretty soon. Or will he keep it up? We will just about keep it up. There goes the balloon as well, just to take out that, 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 that tower. Esper is OP. It's a good start, it's a strong start. A flame flinger down as well, clearing out a lot of those buildings. In with the raw, in with just, just the hog. That's all he needs, you see. He just needs one hog. Hey, base boss, nice to see you. One thing I don't like about wall and walks is how slow they are. They're just. Always just a little bit boring to start off with, but then it gets exciting fast. Here comes the E-Titans. Here comes the King as well. In with the Witch. In with some Balloons. Up at the top, Flame Fling is still putting in the work, clearing out that top section all by itself. They don't need no help. King's ability gone off. Still clearing through a lot of that area. Lots of momentum there. Warden's ability used. E-Titans are off on their own. They're doing their own thing, which isn't so great. Everything else is still pushing through pretty well. Nice wall, wall breaker clearing out right into that middle section. Opening it right up. Up at the top, we have got the CC troops fighting against the king. They do go down. Witch is still clearing out that top section as well. Archer Queen is going to take down the CC. Going to take down the spell tower. Let's see where she goes next. She roots up. She's going to have to fight that monolith, which will cause a little bit of a pain to her. And she's getting targeted by the EA as well. This could be nasty. No, she's all right. She's got it sorted. Continue to push through. Jump spell on there to help her root. There goes the ability. Not ideal. She hasn't got any more heals. So this could be a little bit touch and go. Takes down the warden. Should be able to get down the EA as well. But she will probably fall to the various little bits and pieces down there. Up at the top, we've still got... A little bit of clear up going on but the bulk of the army is gone it's just going to be a case of trying to clear up as much as he can in the time that he's got 69 percent we there goes the queen still a little bit of club on the outside but that's pretty much it a 70 percent two star not quite the start they would have wanted but it isn't a one star and it's easy to recover from that they've just got to hope that syria doesn't make them you know sudden massive crazy attack so let's wait and see okay are they gonna hit yes they are perfect right we have got unpronounceable from syria attacking mac from almost divorce we've got an e-drag in we are seeing an e-drag army hound goes in mm, okay calling a one star from max 
prediction for first attacks here at 69 percent two star <laughs> okay well this is an interesting attack they're clearly just trying to secure the two star here but that blimp has a long way to go we've got a connection issue okay it's all good that blimp has a super long way to travel i don't know if it's actually going to get there oh and we've got another connection okay what have we got in there we have got super wizards okay in at the top e drag still clearing through another connection issue oh my god i don't know what is going on oh my god what is going on with this connection will they get down the town hall yes they do 50 percent two star secured another imp is on to the super wizards decent value out of them they've got a lot down and the important part is they got down the town hall right e drag still pushing through around the outside they are falling up at the top heroes are now coming in to help clean this all up you can disconnect <laughs> <laughs> we've got the king pushing in to that section with uh, the scatter shot now queen will help but she's going to go around the edge spell tower down but a freeze there will help slow everything down a little bit queen's ability used as she gets a little bit too low a little bit too close for comfort this is a pretty good first attack from syria especially for e-drags Still pushing through. Queen's a little bit low on health, but they have enough of an army to finish this off. This is going to be a three star. Weird one to say. Right, we have got a crispy from Almost Divorce attacking Legend A7 Mudo. Mudo. From Syria. Am I streaming all matches? As, I, as many as I can in a day. I normally stream anywhere from one to three a day, or if I'm not able to, then none a day. Right, we have got Rocket Balloons, Yetis, fairly standard in the blimp. For this matter it's going to be another hybrid attack we've seen a lot of hy hybrid attacks at town hall 15 they're always a good watch i always think they're a little bit risky there's just so much splash and uh sometimes it ends badly so let's see what crispy can pull off should be able to clear up all of these cc troops without too much of an issue e titan might cause a few problems no nope, not really We'll be able to take down our skin. Slowing her down a little bit, but that is not the end of the world. Wizard there just to take out that gold mine. We're not seeing a whole lot else just yet. Oh, it's not a hybrid. It's shocked. I'm very sorry. I am way out of the meta, but thank you for telling me that. Now I know for the, for the future. So we've got a shogs. That sounds weird to say, but we'll go with it. Right. Queen's pushing through. Got the healers on her. Let's see what sort of value. I'm sure she, they want to get down the town hall with this. Rage seemed a little bit uh, premature, but let's see. Perhaps it was necessary. Perhaps I am not quite right on my assessments. Oh, my Obama. Yeah, well, I just won stuff. I don't understand what's going on. That's my, that's not my specialty. Queen's still pushing through another Rage down. Definitely needs it that time. It's looking pretty rough. Taking a lot of damage in this just to keep her alive. Very nicely placed just in time. She should be able to get down all of this section and the Town Hall. She will have a problem when she gets to the monolith, but hopefully the freezers will help with that. King's still clearing out. Hogs have come in. Bomb Tower doesn't manage to really do too much then, which is lucky. And also, very skillful. There goes the Warden ability. Queen is getting stuck. She is getting slammed by that monolith. I'm going to have to use the ability before she goes down. She targets the monolith. She should be able to get it down. Nicely done. Hogs are still pushing through. The multi-inferno will cause a bit of a problem for them. But there's still a pretty decent amount of uh, speed. This middle section is going to get difficult. It's going to get nasty. A lot of the troops are falling. It's been opened up though. So that should help massively. But those single inferno... Oh, those multi-infernos just took down that queen. All of those healers are going to go as well. RC's doing her best. But she goes down as well. Still got a few troops up. But it's not enough to secure a three star. It's not going to be enough isn't enough left on the map so we're going to see about an 80 percent two star but let's see if that gets confirmed by the staff if that gets confirmed then oh, welcome you cash welcome to the cosmo league stream about time right let's see what we've got here 
Now, I believe I can call this a hybrid. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe this is actually a hybrid and I've got it right for the, for once. Flame flinger, ugh, flame flinger in after the balloon to clear up the outer defense. Queen up at the top. Miss Siri's attack, um, it was a three star. And we've got the next attack from Syria here. This is Legend A7 Mador. Defend it, uh, and then defending, we've got Crispy for more Mr. Frost. Let's see what they can do. Mmm. Your, your clan leader sounds like a right pain. Yeah. What a knob. It's an unrostered attack, confirms Max. We'll have to confirm which account is unrostered. That that could have a major effect. It could not really affect much at all. We're going to have, have to wait and see what we end up with. Getting hammered by the CC troops and everything else. That queen is barely staying alive. Oh my goodness. She goes down. The queen goes down. Oh my god. Okay. Right. Warden's ability gone off. Trying to push through, but it's just, it's falling apart. I'm not seeing a momentum here. Most of the army is on the ground, but a lot of it is dead. The queen fell early. It is lacking momentum. Down at the bottom, baby drag trying to clear those buildings. The rest of the army, the king trying to push through. There just isn't enough. Healing spell doesn't do enough, really. It is all going on. King's only life because of the Phoenix. There he goes. Seeking air mine on, onto the Phoenix now as well. Scattershot. Raged Scattershot. Slamming both of them. That's going to cause a few a few issues. And all of those air bombs. Here comes the hogs. No. Oh right. Okay. They've come in from the, uh, the flame flinger. Not a whole lot of value out of them. 74% two star currently. Is there anything on the map that we are waiting for? What are we missing? What am I missing? There must be something going on. Okay, it was just a little bit of a flame flinger damage. Right, so we can confirm that whoever this is in the Syria team. Okay. Right, never mind. We'll just we'll, we'll just go over here. Confirm that this player, their attack will not count. Was that the one that got the three star? Okay, it, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with this. It was, it was. Oh my God. So Syria are actually on two stars. Wow. But they have got three stars from that one player. So maybe they're going to pull it back. Maybe they're going to get some strong hits in. But that gives a massive advantage to almost a force. They've just got to not, you know, not get distracted. Just got to keep getting the hits in and getting them right. Cool. So we'll see almost divorced hit next. Just got to wait and see who it is. We have got Helksy. Helksy from almost divorced hitting Otman from Syria. In the army, we've got super bowlers. We've got ice golems. We've got yetis. We've got ice e titans. We've got it all. Let's see what the plan here is. In with the flame flinger, nice and early to get some of these outer buildings. Yeti doing a little bit of clear up as well. Nicely done. Poor Archer didn't stand a chance with that elixir collector. Mortar's locked on. That isn't great, but I'm sure he'll get over it. Right, Queen's pushing in towards the town hall now. Poison there, nicely done just to slow down those troops. She isn't taking too much damage, so she should be able to get through this pretty easily. Up there, the flame flinger has managed managed us. Um, I don't know. They might know about it. I believe most of them are watching, so <laughs> I'm sure they now know know about it. But yeah, and it is also in their Discord channel for their negotiations. It gets posted in there. Queen's still pushing on, getting a good amount of value so far. Ice Golem will cause a few issues for her, but hopefully it's not too bad. That ice golem will help massively. Oh, everything's got frozen up. Oh, the inverse tower there. Not really affecting anything because 
there's nothing there, but still going off. Yeah, they're definitely here. <laughs> definitely here. So look at the value on this. Super Bowlers are still pushing through. It's a very gappy base, but uh, they are going strong. These Ice Golems, wonderful placement. They are freezing up everything each time they die. It is massive value on them. They're Super Bowlers as well. Taking down everything in their path. path. Jump spell as well to help them get through. They are still going. One down. Another one about to fall. But it doesn't matter. RC's pushing on. Still got her ability. Queen still got her ability as well. Warden's just chilling. If they keep up this momentum, it should be a three star. There's still a decent amount on the map. But they should be able to keep it up. Here comes the minions. A little bit of cleanup around the outside. Not very many defences left. It's just a fight against the clock. Oh, Queen's ability has been used. Royal Champion is taking a lot of damage. So is the Queen. The Queen falls. Royal Champion falls. I think this has all changed very suddenly. I don't think there is enough on the map to finish this off. Let's wait and see. There goes the King. Phoenix keeps him alive for a little bit longer. He might just distract a few bits and pieces. There is an E-Titan from, from the bottom trying to help. Oh my goodness. Is this going to be a time for... Ooh, 99%. Is it going to be a 99? Is it going to be a 3 star? Is it going to be a 3 star? It is. It is. Seconds left on the clock. Manages to clutch it up. Lovely 3 star from Helksy there. That was close. That was a good one. Here we go. Next attack we have got from Sama from Syria. Attacking against Esper from almost slash not divorced. Let's see what we've got in the army. Alright, we're in early. Okay. Balloons and blimp. Let's see where he's going to drop this. Maybe just next to the EA. Maybe a little bit further. Just down there. Okay. Let's see what we've got in there. We have got super archers. Should get a decent amount of value out of those. There goes the EA and the monolith. Town hall has been invested. Will they stay up long enough to cause some damage? They might just about. They take down a little bit more. They're still, they're still alive. They're still doing their best. They're still pushing. Will they get down the town hall? I'm not sure if they will. I don't think they will. Oh my goodness. They don't get down the town hall. They almost did. They started to target it towards it, but um, not, not quite still. Very good value out of that. Got the EA and the monolith and all of that middle section, really. That will help massively. When they start to push. In the meantime, a little bit clear up from those barbers. Nice placement on those. Got two minutes left on the clock. And they've got 75% to clear up. Ice golems over there are getting way too distracted by the other bits. Which allows the rest of the army to just completely ignore them and move on. Which is very nice. Here comes the king on the left. Warden and the queen together. Pushing through. E-titans as well. And a few barbs. We've seen a lot of Super Barb's attack. Uh, we're almost divorced, not divorced, it's just an MBSL clan. Perfect, almost divorced, thank you. Bit far for the Sarge to get the TH here. I don't know, it, they almost got a few shots off at it. It would have been crazy if they managed to get it. Einstein G builds our bases. Well, shout out to Einstein, who is currently building some good bases, clearly, because they are not falling too often. Ice Golem there, massive help there, freezing up that entire bottom section. King's still pushing through. Warden's ability goes. Queen is shooting the wall. This is very exciting as she shoots the wall and uses her ability to shoot the wall a bit more. Here we go. King at the bottom. Clearing that all out. He does go down. Phoenix keeps him alive a little bit longer. Enough to clear down that section. Here comes the RC. Queen is down. King is definitely down now. RC is doing her best to clear this up. There's a lot on the ground. There's a lot of expos. There's infernos. And there's troops. Pretty early use on that, it felt like. Could have delayed it a little bit longer. Got a little bit more health out of that. Sits on a giant bomb. Nearly gets blown up, but manages to stay alive. There isn't a whole lot left in this army. Going to have to try to use some of these super barbs to clear up around the outside. That's going to be a little bit difficult. Definitely not going to see a three star here. But we should still see a decent 2-star. There we go. 83% 2-star. 
it was a nice attack. This is where you're not allowed to stream. <laughs> right, next here we have got Mac from Almost Divorced. Okay, we have got Super Dragons, we've got Balloons. Okay, let's just see what the plan is. They are unstoppable, nothing can stop them. Statistically, I think you're right. But morally, I think you're wrong. <laughs> so, right, let's see. E Drag doing a little bit of play up around the outside. Slowest play up in the world. Gotta love uh, the E Drag. Okay. He really wanted that to speed up, didn't he? Okay. Freeze. Should we have to get on the EA? No, not quite. Is he going to put another freeze on that to stop it, or is he just going to. Yes. Very nicely chained into the middle there. Right. Let's see what the rest of the pan is. Here comes the super drags in from the top with the warden. In with the balloons as well, as you'd expect. We're probably going to see them raging. And the blimp as well, get the ability on all of them. There goes the ability. Blimp will just breeze on through right down to the TH. There's only one air sweeper there and it's facing the wrong way. So it should be alright. Okay, super minions coming out of there. Fairly standard. Should be able to get down the town hall and the monolith without too too many problems. Super drag still pushing through, getting hammered a bit by uh, the AD. Super minions help out a little bit by getting them down. Up at the top, they are struggling a little bit. It feels like. Right. Okay, we've got the heroes on the left hand side. We've got the king, and we've got the queen over there. Warden is definitely down. We've still got the RC waiting to be deployed. Be interesting to see where he places that. Inferno in the middle is gone. Nicely done. Still pushing round to the left. I think we'll see the RC join this attack or perhaps come in from, from, from the right to kind of pinch it in. Yeah, the funnel was kind of, uh, didn't work out, but let's see if they can salvage it. Still got a decent amount of health on uh, the heroes. There goes the King's ability. Queen can push through as well. Still got a freeze as well for anything that comes up unexpectedly. Should be alright. There it goes. Queen being uh, freeze being used on the enemy queen, and on that inferno, and on the Tesla. It's raged up, which will cause a few issues. Queen uses her ability. Should be able to take down that. I think the scatter shot will cause some issues for her, depending on if the RC gets it down or not. Will the RC get it down? She does. Wh and that's down as well. This is going to be a three star. This is going to be a three star. Mac is officially OP. Okay. <laughs> right. Sure. Whatever. Fuck it. Let's just attack whenever you feel like it. <laughs> Hold on. I need to check how much time we've actually got. Right. Okay, we've got five minutes. Right. We've got a Sarch in. I'm pretty annoyed at these guys for wasting all of our time. Pretty nice placement though, I will give them that. Should get a decent amount of value out of this. It's a shame that they've already missed a star for being this late, but whatever. Very nice value. Really nice value. Right. Queen at the top pushing in. They won't have time for the last hit. No, they're just going to have... We're just going to have to mix, mix and match. I, I would encourage AD to still hit at five minutes. If uh, any of you guys are watching. Just so then, you know. I can mix and match between the attacks. I can manage that. And remember guys, if uh, you're new here, please do follow. Helps us out massively. Helps our stats. Helps us uh, get future sponsors and money to run these things. And in the future, add revenue, which will also help. So, And we've got a giveaway. If uh, you do follow, you can enter that in the Discord server. So, Please do if you haven't. Warden's ability goes off, keeping some of these troops alive. Uh, I'm struggling to see what, what the plan is here, specifically in regards to the town hall. Because that's going to be a difficult push. Even with the Queen and these troops. 
Like that queen's just getting slaughtered already. There goes the ability. She's focusing on the monolith. What sort of issues will this cause? She goes down. She doesn't get it. Here comes the RC plan to finish it off. Yeah, let's see AD attack. Right, we have got Einstein. Ah, oh, okay. Clearly very good so far. Let's see what they can do. E Titan in. Bulk of the army in already. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is looking good. Ice Golem still pushing through. They're going to cause an issue. Yeah, nicely done. Freezing up that EA. Over on the outside. Queen's clearing up the CC troops. Getting a little bit distracted there, but she should be alright. She is taking a lot of damage. She has to pop the ability. And she gets frozen as well. She'll manage to take down those troops. Siege Machine doing its thing. Manages to take down the EA with the Queen. E-Titan still smashing on through. I don't think this is going to be a freestyle. There's too much left on, on the map. Too many high value targets. It's just a bit too difficult, I think. But let's see. There goes the Warden's ability. No, sorry. There goes the Warden. King's still pushing through. Doing his thing. Still got the, the RC, though. So that could change things up. There she goes. In on the left. Immediately targeting the scatter shot. That's going to be the biggest threat at the moment. Will she get caught up by the king? A little bit, but shouldn't be too... Ooh, she has to use the ability pretty early. And she goes down. A headhunter would have helped massively there. We're not going to see a three-star, but it is an 86-2. Sorry, Perky. I know that's that is disappointing. Oh my god, what are these guys doing? Is this an early hit or is this on time? Is this on time? No, they've they've hit early. Right, so that's a two-star penalty. Oh. These guys are ridiculous. I They are probably gonna get banned after this, I I will be honest. Like who who the fuck <laughs> agrees to be streamed and then does shit like that? Yeah. Yeah, the Syrian guys are actually on negative points, which is really quite impressive. And they're just... I've... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for all of the viewers who uh, came to expect a professional match and then ended up with whatever the Syrian guys are up to. Could have been in... I... yeah. I... I... I don't know. Right, Queen's pushing through, taking down a monolith. Take down the EA. I've never seen so many penalties on a stream to match before. Five stars of penalty. RC ability does go off. Scatter shot is still up, causing a few issues for the Queen. Queen goes down as you'd expect. Manages to get down the scatter there. A little bit of clear up going around. It's not enough on the map for a three star. Only six barbs left in the army. Make that three. Ice Golems are, are still up. If they were a little bit further, it might be possible, but nope. And what's the point of getting a three-star anyway? Because you're just going to get a star take, taken off for just ignoring the timed hits. So, who cares, right? And now, and now they're freezing. Of course they are. Of course they are. Welcome to Cosmo League, everybody. This is what we have to put up with. Mm. Minus five in a one thousand dollar cup. The rules aren't even that strict. It's not even that 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 difficult, and it ends with a. Oh, right. So serious actual score. It says here that it's a uh, twelve to almost divorce. I mean, the important part here: almost divorced have won, even before you take into account the penalties. Robert got the score right. Kind of. 
because Syria will now lose half of their points. <laughs> they will go down to six. 12 6. <laughs> how, how do you end on six when you've got five attacks? Oh my god. Well, I don't think anybody predicted that. If you did, then you're some weird psychic, because I had no idea that was coming. <laughs>